Okay, guys, um, so uh, entering a new chapter here, and we are going to be covering volume mainly. And so the first assignment is going to be the volume of cylinders and prisms. So down below, you've got triangular prisms and rectangular prisms. Um, and up here, we've got cylinders. Now, the basic formula for all of these is the same. So I'm going to write that formula right up top here. The formula for cylinders and prisms for volume is this. V equals capital B times, times lowercase h. Now, the capital B is important. Um, the capital B... Uh, refers to the area of the base shape. So the area of the base. And then this is the height, but it could also just be, oops, sorry. Uh, it could also just, ah, dang it. Um, this is fun. Okay. Okay. Try this again. H is for height. Okay, height. Why in the world is every time I start writing the keyboard trying to Stupid. Stop it. Okay, I'm going to try and write height down here. Height. Oh, gosh. I apologize for this terrible video. I think I thought I was trying to write my name in the, the worksheet there. So the H is for the height, but it could also just be the distance between the base shapes. For example, cylinder here has um, <clears throat> a base shape of a circle. So from here, that's one base shape, and then the other base shape is down there. So the height is 9. It's the distance between the two base shapes. So um, and if you were to look at, say, a rectangular or triangular prism, so this is a triangular prism, the base shapes of a triangular prism are triangles. So I've got a triangle here and a triangle here. So the height of this, when we're doing volume, equals base times height, okay? This height is actually going to be 11. Um, it doesn't matter that this is laying on its side instead of standing up tall, so it's an actual height. It mainly just means it's the distance between the two base shapes, be the distance between the triangles. And then for rectangles, uh, rectangular prisms, like, oh, those are cubes. Cubes. Oh, there's a rectangular prism. Okay, so for a rectangular prism, so the base shape would be one of the rectangles. It doesn't matter, matter which one you pick. Say that one, the 8 by 10 rectangle. And then... There's the other 8 by 10 rectangle. So basically you'd find the area of this one times 3. 3 would be the height. Um, the area of the base shape would be 80. But I'm kind of getting uh, ahead of myself here. So anyway, I just wanted to go over the, the formula is the area of the base shape times the height. Or the area of the base shape times the distance to the next base shape. Now... Um, for these, um, <clears throat> this worksheet says find the exact volume. Um, that means to leave your answer in terms of pi. Uh, I'm going to talk about that, and I'm going to kind of go over both uh, ways of doing this. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to go ahead and which one should we do? Uh, yeah, let's. We can just do this first one right here. So. The, the first thing we're going to do for this volume uh, is we're going to find the area of the circle. And hopefully you remember that the area of a circle is found by pi times the radius squared. So I'm essentially finding the area of one circle. <clears throat> and uh, so if the radius of this circle is 6, radius goes from the center out. Diameter goes all the way across. Uh, I'm going to take that 6. I'm going to put it right in there for the radius. 
and we'll figure this out. So uh, the area of the base shape of this one is going to be pi times 6 squared or pi times 36 and the way we would actually write that is 36 pi. So we're going to leave our answers exact. We'll write it as 36 pi. Now if you want to do uh, we'll use 30, we'll, we'll leave pi in our answer, I should say, not 36 pi. This is just the area of the circle. If you want to um, find an approximate answer, then you would use about 3.14 for pi. So anyway, I, I'm just, I've done the first half of this problem, which is to find the area of the base shape, 36 pi. I'm now going to take that 36 pi and multiply it times 11. My height is 11. So... The volume is going to be the area of the base shape, which is 36 pi. And then I do times 11. And again, we're going to really need our calculators for this section. So uh, let's see here. 36 times 11, we got 396. And so the volume of this one could be written as 396 pi, and this, these are meters, so meters cubed. Okay, so that's how you would leave your answer exact. It says exact. Um, do another one where we actually, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't even be that hard to then change this one to a decimal approximation. All you want to do is take 396 and multiply times 3.14 and you will get a giant number of, so let's change our color too so we know. Um, or the, you can say the volume is 1,243.44. And again, this will be meters cubed because volume means how many cubes could fit inside. Um, so we've got our exact answer of 396 pi or our approximate answer of 1243.44 meters cubed. All right, I'm going to do one more cylinder before I get to the triangular and rectangular prisms. Uh, let's go ahead and do, uh, we'll do this one here, uh, number four. The reason I want to go to number four is because it's got a diameter instead of a radius. You have to be really careful with that. So again, as we do the volume, the area, the base shape, the area portion of this is going to be um, pi r squared or pi times uh, the radius squared. So the radius of this one that goes from the center out to the edge is just going to be 3. So we're going to use 3 squared. So we do this one, 3 times 3 is 9, so this comes out to 9 pi for the area of the base shape. And then for our volume, again, we're just going to do the area of the base shape, which is 9 pi, times the height, which is 5. So times 5, so our volume, uh, oops, our volume is equal to 45 pi, and again, this is meters, so meters cubed. Or, if you want to multiply it all the way out, and you should be able to do, do this both ways. So 45 times 3.14 equals 141.3 meters cubed. So these are the two acceptable... Oops. Okay, that's really fun right in the middle of the video. All right, so these are the two acceptable ways to leave your answer, 45 pi meters cubed or 141.3 meters cubed. Those are the cylinders. Now, for, for the triangular and rectangular prisms, you um, <clears throat> have a slightly different way of getting the area of the base, that's all, and then the Multiplying it times the height is still the final step. So you do need to know your formulas for areas of triangles and rectangles. But for this one, I'll start with triangles. 
Again, the area of a triangle is going to be the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle divided by 2. So in this triangle right here, this one, um, we have a base of 4 and a height of 3. So we're going to do 4 times 3 divided by 2. So that's not too hard. 4 times 3 divided by 2, that's 12 over 2, so we get 6. So 6 is the area of this triangle. And then I have to multiply it, since it's the volume is the area of the base. So I got the area of the base, 6, times the height. So that 6 is going to go right up there. Okay, so 6. And then the height is the distance to the other triangle, which is this one. So we take that, put it here. That's the height. So 11. So the volume of this one would be, sorry, 66 feet, and again it's cubed, so feet cubed, 66 feet cubed. And there is no um, leaving pi because there's no pi in triangular or rectangular prisms, so there's no worry about approximate or exact, just multiply the numbers you got there and you'll have your volume. So that's the triangular prisms, the rectangular prism. Um, so it technically is still the area of the base times the height. So in this case, 80. Okay, there's the base shape. So the, the area of a, a rectangle is base times height. So this is 10 times 8, which is 80. So 80 would go here. And then the distance of the other rectangle, 3, that would go here. And so you'd get 240. Uh, and this is feet, so feet cubed for your answer. That's how you do the rectangular prisms. Um, that's an OK way to kind of explain it and, and do it. I, I think it's actually better and faster if we think of it, um, oh boy. I do apologize for all the uh, mess ups on this video today, guys. Uh, uh, so a little bit faster way to do volume of rectangular prisms is just multiply the three dimensions together. So essentially what happens, since you're finding the area of the rectangle and then times three, it's just eight times 10 times three. So some people think of it like this, length times height times width. So this would be 10 times 3 times 8. And it doesn't even matter what order you go in, and you still get 240 feet cubed. So on 5, this cube, just do 6 times 6 times 6. On number, let's see here, 9, 5 times 5 times 5. 7, 3 times 3 times 3. So that's, uh, that's kind of all there is to it with those. All right, thanks, guys.